Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and we're coming back to you today from the RE Plus Solar Conference in Anaheim, California. And Tom Brennan from SolarC is joining us again, and today we're going to be taking a look at the SolarC Optimizer solution. So Tom, thanks for joining us. Oh yeah, I'm happy to be here, thank you. Great, so tell us, how does the SolarC Optimizer solution work? Well, we the, the, the challenge for us was that we wanted to be able to offer uh, rapid shutdown to our customers and do one-stop shopping. Um, they're, they're using other, other third-party uh, devices for rapid shutdown and the, in addition to rapid shutdown we wanted the ability to monitor the panels and offer optimization for the, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit more than just rapid shutdown only which is a safety hazard or safety requirement. So for those of for those watching maybe who aren't in the industry and, and familiar with some of the terminology, can you explain a little bit, where did the rapid shutdown requirement come from? What, what was the idea behind that? The, the requirement for rapid shutdown was that, you know, you, ha you had to be able to hit a button, an emergency stop, and all the solar panels at, at each solar panel would stop producing power. And it was a, it was a national requirement by the firefighters. Um, and it adds power electronics to every single solar panel. So the advantage went to microinverters and went to, it was actually written by a lot of the microinverter, some of the microinverter companies and DC optimizer companies to get rid of string inverters, sort of make them more expensive. So anyway, rapid shutdown solves that, but it doesn't add a lot of value. It doesn't add monitoring. It doesn't add optimization. So that's where it comes from. And we decided to do all that in an optimizer solution. That makes sense. So, so guys, to give you some context on this issue, you know, traditional solar, let's say eight years ago and, and before that, traditionally your solar was going to be wired into high voltage DC strings, and then that high voltage DC would be brought down to an inverter at ground level that did your DC to AC power conversion. However, in a few infrequent cases where you had a fire in the building, if firefighters have to start cutting into the building or cutting or cutting through the rooftop to allow venting. Uh, for the flames, there's a chance that they could hit that high voltage wiring and then cause injury or death to the firefighter. So the idea was have a button, have something at ground level that could be rapidly shut down that would remove all the high voltage DC power inside the house and bring it all up to the rooftop or, or wherever the solar array was mounted. And so the optimizers are one solution that accomplishes that function, right? That's right. Um, what, what we did differently than uh, a lot of other uh, vendors. We are, uh, actually, it was installers that wanted the ability to monitor solar panels. It was banks that, that, that actually give loans that wanted to monitor solar panels, and customers wanted to monitor the power output of solar panels. So, so we incorporated monitoring into this optimizer, and for the rare cases where you get, well, during the early morning sun, late evening sun, where you do get a little bit of shading, the optimizers kick in and actually produce help produce about 4% more power throughout the day. Um, the difference between our optimizer and other optimizers is that it's not operating in optimizer mode all the time. Most optimizers that, that do this, microinverters and optimizers, they're converting power all the time, and that's an efficiency problem. Uh, so what we did is we only convert when it's their shading and it needs to optimize and therefore the rest of the time it consumes very, very little power. Much more efficient and much more reliable, producing less heat. Excellent. So with the Solark uh, DC optimizer solution, essentially it's only going to provide power optimization, power transformation if there's a shading issue that, that warrants it. Otherwise, you're, like I said, you're not wasting that energy because every time you're converting, whether you're stepping up the voltage, stepping down the voltage, converting DC to AC, AC to DC, every one of those conversions, there's a little bit of loss. It's never a 100% efficient conversion. And so I think the way you do it sort of only on demand as needed makes a lot of sense. Plus, That's correct. Yeah. And, and also what we did is uh, this, this optimizer is about half the size of, of competing solutions. Uh, it also uses a lot fewer components and it's a lot of surface mount technology. There's also massive heat sinks on this because underneath solar panels you get very, very, very hot sun and you're cooking the electronics and heat kills electronics. And we need this to last 30, you know, 30 plus years. So, so we have one of the most robust designs of, of optimizers out there in terms of cooling, in terms of reliability. We've done HALT, highly accelerated life testing, and this thing uh, is 
a super reliable solution. Excellent. Now, Tom, is this is this a requirement for 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 any of the solar converters, or is just a purely optional an optional component? It, uh, uh, it is. It you you need a some sort of rapid shutdown solution for any DC couple. Uh, solar panels to our inverters. Um, you can use other rapid shutdown solutions if you so choose. There's several there's several good vendors out there like you know AP Systems, there's uh, there's Tygo, there's also uh, let's see uh, NEP. Um, just the the one uh, the, the thing that this offers is it adds monitoring and it adds optimization which improves power output. So so anyway it's just an option. You can use it if you want to. It's one one-stop shopping if you're if you're installer for Solar. Excellent. Well, folks, this has been a presentation of the Solar DC optimizer system. Uh, gives you rapid shutdown compliance. Gives you uh, module level uh, monitoring, which a lot of for a lot of homeowners is great. Being able to see not just overall system performance, but being able to see down to the per panel level how each solar panel is performing for you. Well, Tom, is there anything else the audience should know about the DC optimizers? They're only, they're, they're, they'll be out in November, and uh, they're going to be incorporated in our same, same monitoring tool, so you'll be able to monitor the panels, uh, and you'll be able to get them through all our distributors. Excellent. Well, folks, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. As always, guys, if you're getting any good information on the channel, be sure to give us a, th a thumbs up. Uh, and also, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. That way, you'll stay up to date with us. As we publish new videos, it'll show up in your feed, and you won't miss anything. Well, Tom, thanks again for chatting with us. Folks, as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.